I'm Robin. Welcome to Nest of Guidance. And happy Taurus new moon. This new moon feels really magical to me and when I think of the Taurus new moon, I always remember what Yasmin Boland, the astrologer, said about Taurus, the astrological sign, which is that it's either this relaxing, calm, bull just kind of lying around in the grass and the shade and this like luxury and comfort or it's the bull charging forward towards its goals and another thing that comes to mind for me when I think of Taurus energy and this new moon coming up and Taurus the sign is that I believe Mythbusters once did a video where they had bulls in a china shop and they didn't actually destroy that much, which is kind of funny. So know that if you feel like you're kind of charging forward and you feel like you're stumbling a lot, that it's going to be okay. Nothing is being removed from you at this time or placed in front of you at this time unless it's meant to be there for you. And with that, I just wanted to dive right into another reading into these energies. Another thing that comes to mind for me with, with Taurus and, and this energy and this new moon that we're in is that Taurus is ruled by Venus and Venus is the planet of luxury and love and beauty and, and art and all of those beautiful things. and. And when I think of luxury, what comes to mind for me right away is worthiness and feeling worthy of the luxury. And right away, one card came to mind for this reading for us today with self-care, with luxury and love and beauty and also earthiness and groundedness and sensuality as in your senses is this card right here self-worth and on the back it says why settle for crumbs when you deserve a whole meal you deserve this entire cake every little last bit of it you deserve all the self-worth don't settle for crumbs. And this is really, I feel like, source and the universe and our guides are just like, <laughs> I get that when I'm tuning in right now, I get this image of, of almost like my own guides, like shaking me by my shoulders and being like, why can't you see this sure enough? Like you deserve the whole cake. And I feel like that's the energy coming forward for me right now for us is just like, just own it, own that you are worthy. And then with worthiness and luxury, another card came to me, which is this card right here. And it's the card of pampering yourself. And on the back it says, self-care is a necessity. Uh, self-care is a necessity, not a luxury. And this means that you can make your self-care luxurious and really dive in and indulge in your self-care, but it's not something that is, what I'm, what the words that just came to me right now while I was trying to describe it to you is, it's like oxygen. Self-care is like oxygen. It is a necessity for us on this planet, living this human experience, to care for ourselves in the healthiest and highest and best way possible so we can move forward and onward with ourselves and our lives and our dreams and our passions and our purpose. The last card that just came to me for this reading, which feels very fitting with the charging bowl energy, and it, it was literally like I heard the words in my head that are on the back of this card, and then had the experience of if I had just slowed down, I would have saved myself busy work because I thought I had misplaced this pamper card from my self-care deck. And so I moved the couch and I moved my little uh, altar over here and 
I still couldn't find it. And I was like, I'm just going to look through the cards one more time, slowly and carefully. And lo and behold, it was never lost. I should have just slowed down and taken my time. And then I would have found it. And that is why I have this card here to remind us that in this full moon, where we feel like we're things are picking up, our energy is picking up, we're ready to charge forward, to remember to breathe and slow down when you need to. On the back of this card it says, the calmer you are, the more time slows down, and the easier it is to get everything done. And what this makes me feel like is when we slow down and we're moving in a state of flow and calm energy, we give ourselves time, more time than we actually gain by rushing and doing things fast. Because when we rush and we do things fast, we might miss details, we might not pick up on things, we might make mistakes, and then we have to go back and redo the things we've already done to correct all of that. Whereas if we just move from a place of slow energy, calm, be with our breath, be in the energy of our bodies, and move forward from there, then everything is just done in the best way possible right from the beginning and there's no going back to correct things. Unless you, of course, feel aligned within your heart energy to tweak something, which is a completely different case altogether. So these are the, the, the self-care prompts for this, this new moon we're in today, which is on May 19th and moving forward into the next three weeks, or not three weeks, two weeks until the full moon. Um, ahead. I'm going to dive in and pull us a energy card just to see what energies we're working with right now with this Taurus new moon and the following two weeks. Connecting, well, okay. Yeah, this makes sense. Two flopped out for us. We have first diligence. And diligence is, I love this card because it makes you think that you have to do everything right away and really that's not what it's saying. Oh, <laughs> that's the next one. That's not what it's saying at all. Uh, this card is actually talking about the diligence of just being slow and taking calm energy in and doing it in the right time as opposed to just as fast as possible. Because what this card talks about is back when farming, I don't know, maybe farmers today still do this, but I really have no idea, but back, way back when, farmers would let their fields and their crop areas grow fallow, which just means grow wild for a certain period of time so that the soil and the earth could replenish its nutrients. And then they'll, they'd go back after that fallow period to plant their new crops, their new seeds, and they would be nourished, they would be fertilized by the natural earth because of that resting period. Whereas if they had just planted and harvested without that rest period in the, in the, in the middle, or whatever it is, <laughs> then their crops might not have done as well, or they might have actually not even like taken root because the earth could not support them. So resting periods, letting your, I'm hearing the word gestation in my, uh, intuitively right now. So it's like letting that, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm also hearing it like almost like when you're making like a fermented food and you, you need to, which is funny because Taurus is also very much like foodie type of uh, energy, <laughs> but, um, let your, let the seeds gestate, let the food that needs to soak in the marinade, the kimchi in the vinegar, whatever it is. I'm sorry, I don't even, I'm kind of spacey today. But let it sit and rest and absorb, I'm hearing. And then you'll, you'll have a better result in the end. So that is that card right there. The diligence of rest and knowing that things will happen in divine timing. And then to this card that I threw at us earlier, the action card. And this is like that call to action that kind of activates your solar plexus, which is our passion zone. That's where we get our energy from. 
That's our, um, that's our, 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 our fire comes from there. And this is that call, call to action that might be kind of stirring up some heavy emotions for you. It might be kind of making you feel things that you thought you had dealt with before, or make your mind spin into thoughts that you thought you had cleared out. And it's a call to action I'm hearing to heal that to the next level. It's not that you've gone back to backwards, but it's just it's a new level of healing is needed. And your call to action is to heal that with this self-care, with rest, with following your passions. And also I'm hearing journaling as well to help kind of clear the fog of the mind if you are experiencing that right now too. And just get it all out on paper as <laughs> source. Alrighty. So I'm gonna go into this deck right here first. This is a fairy tarot deck by Radley Valentine and I really like to use this deck to to tune into really like just communicating with the fairies or the angels and using the like the key phrases on the bottom of the cards as you'll see as like direct communication from the fairies in this case and I really feel like the fairies have messages for us today they like to help us when we're feeling pure of heart, when we're following our joy and our bliss and our playfulness and our inner child is frolicking in a field of <laughs> buttercups I'm seeing, then and it is then that's when the fairies are here for us. And I'm gonna just shuffle some of these cards and see what cards come out, what messages they have for us for this Taurus new moon. have the three of autumn follow your passion when it comes to your career be the best at what you do bring comp uh, being compensated for your creative talents holy smokes talk about being worthy the three of autumn so this little fae has been working away on this thing and now it's almost ready it's almost done and he's about to be compensated for all of his time and effort and energy creating that magical item. And this could speak to us as well this week ahead, this two weeks ahead this with this new moon. Times are shifting, energy is shifting, and it is about to sky rocket and you will be rewarded in ways that you've never been rewarded before. Ooh, and then we have the Queen of Spring. Brilliant, loyal, talented, and friendly. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you maintain a balance between work and home life. Holy smokes. So we have brilliant, loyal, talented, friendly support networks surrounding us right now. People that we wouldn't suspect want to help us, want to help us. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. And then we have the Four of Winter. Set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Sol uh, solutions that come from meditation, uh, the need for more rest or a vacation. There's no rush. All Source wants you to do right now is rest and take stock, I'm hearing. Rest and take stock. Rest and take stock now so that when the time is right, you'll be able to 
to take action. Fairies have come through for us with that message. Holy smokes. How aligned is that with what I was saying earlier? That's crazy. Alright, I'm hearing one more fairy message and then I'm gonna go on to another deck. Woo! Okay. Yep, one more was correct. We have, oh, another queen! Queen energy! <laughs> Love it, Divine Feminine. Thank you for showing up in this very sensual Taurus Venusian energy of this new moon for us today. Dive into your Divine Feminine, your Sovereign energy, your Queen energy, that inner knowing that is resting within you always. We have strong, patient, self-sufficient, and funny let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career. Unmar unmarried or diver divorced individuals. Hmm. So, time to be strong and patient, self-sufficient, and take life with humor. Time to focus on your career, just like this card was saying about being rewarded and turning your career into your passion and passion into your career and being rewarded and compensated for it. Take life with passion. Take hold of the reins. And steer it in the direction that you want. Okay. messages lie within for us. Ooh. <laughs> so on this Taurus new moon full of passionate, sensual, loving, beautiful energy. We have the Moon Maiden herself of new beginnings with this new moon of planting your new intentions for what new things you want to have glow and grow in your life. New beginnings literally showing up for us. And we have the, the number of 41 here and 41 numerology is five, which is the energy of change and potential challenges, but challenges that offer you the opportunity to level up, to reach the same frequency and vibration as these beautiful moon maiden new beginnings. And then we have ah, joyful muse, inspiration, what a beautiful card, new beginnings, embrace your inspiration, follow your muse. How much inner child energy do you feel coming from this card right now? I feel like this is like a spirit guide or an imaginary friend from all of our inner children coming forward to be like, be more playful, laugh more, enjoy more of life. Follow your muse, your joyful muse. Follow your inspiration and let it play out for you. And then we have the divine Angel Master Number 33 coming through. Okay. So let's see what energy, what light is shining through this new moon in Taurus for us. It shines through this new moon, it shines through us to and for others, and it shines for us brightly. No, 
Uh, doesn't get much more divine than listening to that sweet, calm guidance of your inner voice. Listen to your inner voice, your intuition, your inner compass, your inner guidance. That soft, gentle voice, that whisper from your heart that says it's okay, you are worthy, follow your dreams. The one that you really need to listen to because the voice from your head can be so much louder. But the voice from your heart has this much more power than the voice from your head. So listen to your heart listen to your inner voice, follow that inner guidance, follow that loving, supportive, gentle, light-filled whisper. Know that you are fully, completely worthy of the full meal of all the self-worth and that you are within your right to care for yourself and your beautiful temple, which holds that beautiful, radiant soul within you. Breathe through the tension I'm hearing. Let things rest if you feel like they need to rest and gestate. New beginnings are here for us. Passion and inspiration and dreams coming true and loyalty and it's just divine. Thank you so much for spending this small amount of time with me on the Taurus New Moon. I hope you have a fantastic, beautiful day, a beautiful, blessed two weeks ahead. Bask in this beautiful, loving, sensual energy. Follow your beautiful, playful inner child and that guidance from within calling you closer and closer to your dreams. I am Robin. This is Nest of Guidance. And I will see you next time. Namaste.